Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with another tier list for you and today we're going to be doing a ranking of the Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed maps. So this is the sort of 4v1 Ghostbusters multiplayer game that came out by Ilphonic. It's really, really fun. Like I say, you play as four uh, custom Ghostbusters going up against one person playing as one of a variety of different ghosts. And the aim of the game is the ghost has to sort of up the sort of scare rating to max so they've fully haunted this venue. And the Ghostbusters have to either stop that by capturing the ghost or by closing all the rifts down and stuff like that as well so it's a fun little game we've covered it on the channel we did a live stream on launch and i believe we've also done a review as well so check out all of those videos on our youtube and our website but this is going to be a short one i'm ranking them from s being the best down to d and let's jump straight in so hudson canyon lodge now this one is a very pretty map I like this one. I do get lost quite a lot, or I did when we first started playing. Um, so I'm putting that one in A. I do, I do like that one. I think it's really good. I love the sort of hunting lodge aesthetic. When like, just imagine you're in your little um, smoking jacket with a pipe or something like that. Uh, multiple ups and downs and stuff like that. Really good. Very nice. Clock Tower Brewery and Pub. This is another A1, however, I'm putting it above the uh, Canyon Lodge. I, I prefer this one. I just like the variation. Obviously, you've got the pub, so you've got like the like the pool tables and the uh, arcade machines and that, and the, the stalls, and then there's like the little restaurant on the other side. And then you go around the back, and then it's like a proper uh, brewery. I, I just think I like the, the, the change in aesthetics while playing it. It's not just all just one sat sort of style and it's also cool to sort of hide around and stuff like that, especially if you can hide in the back of the um like the distillery bit that's quite a cool place to hide as the ghost also has a few upstairs areas and stuff like that as well well let's have a look I'm not doing these in order because i'm just seeing what there is uh rms artemisia if i pronounce that right is going in b for me it's okay there's no sort of outside so you can't see out into like the sides of the ship or anything like that so it just looks like a very generic interior of a, a cruise ship basically with like a ballroom and stuff like that like a where there'd be a stage and everything and all of the, the place where people sit in the corridors it's okay it's nothing amazing white stone museum this is my favorite level from the game so far um i just love it i like that you can sort of possess like the dinosaur um, statues and stuff like that around the museum i think that's really cool reminds me of nightmare at night at the museum and those sort of games so i really like that it's probably one of my favorite levels to play rock island prison i like more than the ship but it's it's a bit generic every sort of section looks similar so when you're trying to work together and sort of direct someone into a certain place there's nothing that jumps out like go here go there it just all looks very very similar so i like it but it's not great for like team play unless you're really good at the game and we are not uh new motion club i did like that one that's going up there as well i think that's a really cool little level it's one i haven't played a lot of actually which is weird like i've played quite a few games but not the new motion club one it's like it, i never it never seems to to show up and i don't know why that is so maybe i'm, I'm i need to play more because i've only played it probably literally a couple of times so it came out beginning of august that's probably why i haven't played the game much since then it's great that they're doing these dlcs like um the they did this dlc this was the third one which is awesome I, i'm loving it and i hope they keep doing more because our, our biggest complaint when we got it was there was not enough maps and not enough ghosts and they've slowly but surely i mean i think they could do it at a bit more of a more interesting rate but so far like i say it does add a lot of replayability to it um i love that it has the like the 
the whole sort of underground music sort of vibe to it. I think it's pretty cool. Right, next up is the Moros Medical Facility. This was the first bit of DLC they released, and it was released in January. So see what I mean? Like, we've got three bits of DLC between January and August. That's a lot of time to say it's only a couple of maps and a couple of ghost things. Do you know what I mean? So, but this one isn't too bad. I quite like this one. Uh, I must admit, it, it does the job. I'm putting it in the best of B. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Rock Island prison in the way it's presented and it's laid out, but I feel like it is a little bit more um, interesting as such. It, it has more to do in it. It has a bit more variations. So, yeah, it, it's okay for free as well, like free DLC. You can't really complain too much. And then the last up is the courthouse level. Now, this was added later as well. This was the second bit of um, DLC that was released in April. And I really like this one. It's really, really good. Um, gives you massive Ghostbusters 2 vibes. So, like where they've got the trial at the beginning and everything like that. Really, really cool. Probably my favorite of the um the dlc packs it, it's just cool it's 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 just a core house i mean there's nothing amazing to it kind of has like an air of like a resident evil like raccoon city-esque police station courthouse look and I, I don't know why but i think it looks really really cool like that aesthetic is fantastic so that in, isn't in S. I don't think it's as good as the Whitestone Museum. But it's going up there in the top of the A's for me. While I'm there, do you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna slide the lodge down one and put the new motion club up above it. I just think it's, it's a, a better level design. The Canyon Lodge is pretty cool to look at. But by God, I, I do prefer the, the more sort of brighter, sort of cool looking maps that are on offer but that's that like i say there isn't a huge lot there's only currently eight maps to play on which is a shame i do hope they keep pumping more out like i said they have just put one out this past month so definitely jump onto the game and play it if you haven't already you can check out our live streams of the game and our reviews on our website and stuff like that so have a look at them hit that like button hit subscribe and leave a comment down below which are your favorite uh, ghostbusters spirits unleashed maps and which ones are the worst i don't think there's any really bad ones like they're all playable they're all b plus but some of them are just more enjoyable for me personally than the others but they're all fun to play on when you're playing with a group of friends chasing a ghost down such a good experience but anyway guys thanks for watching hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now